Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is morning prayer for Wednesday, August 22nd. It's the 13th week after Pentecost and week 7 in the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 119, verses 145 to 168, and John chapter 6, verse 1 through 15. Now join me in singing verse 4 of the paraphrase of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts. We are God's people, we God's care, our souls and all our mortal frame. What lasting honors shall we rear? Almighty Maker to your name. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, I cry to you with my whole heart. Hear me, my God, I will keep your statutes. Alleluia, Psalm 119, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, I cried to you with my whole heart, hear me, my God, I will keep your statutes. I cried out to you, save me, and I shall keep your word. I cried out to you early in the morning, I hoped in your promises. My eyes greet the night watches, that I might meditate in your word. In your loving kindness, hear my voice, give me life according to your judgment. They draw near that follow after evil. They are far from your law. But you are near, O God, and all your commandments are truth. I have known from of old that you have planted your testimonies forever. Alleluia, deliver me from my affliction, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and save me. Give me life according to your word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek your statutes. Great are your tender mercies, O God. Give me life according to your judgments. Many are my persecutors and enemies, and yet I do not turn away from your word. I looked upon the transgressors and was grieved because they have not kept your law. Consider how I love your precepts, O God. Give me life according to your mercy. Your word is true from the beginning, and your judgments are righteous and last forever. Alleluia, leaders have persecuted me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. I rejoice at your promises like one that finds great spoil. I hate and abhor lies, but your law I love. Seven times a day do I praise you because of your righteous judgments. They have great peace who love your law, and nothing shall offend them. I have hoped for your salvation and done your commandments. I have kept your laws, and I love them exceedingly. I have kept your precepts, and all my ways are before you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, I cried to you with my whole heart. Hear me, my God. I will keep your statutes. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 6, beginning at verse 1. After this, Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, also called the Sea of Tiberias. A large crowd kept following him because they saw the signs that he was doing for the sick. Jesus went up the mountain and sat down there with his disciples. Now the Passover, the festival of the Jews, was near. And when he looked up and he saw a large crowd coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread for these people to eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Six months' wages would not buy enough bread for each of them to get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, 
but what are they among so many people? Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was a great deal of grass in the place, so they sat down, about five thousand in all. And then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated, and so also the fish, as much as they wanted. When they were satisfied, he told his disciples, Gather up the fragments left over, so that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up, and from the fragments of the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten, they filled twelve baskets. When the people saw the sign that he had done, they began to say, This is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. And Jesus, when Jesus realized that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain by himself. Here ends the lesson. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to sing. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We cry to you, dear God, early in the morning, and hope in your word. You are great and greatly to be praised, for your righteous judgments last forever. Forgive us our iniquities, and save us from evil and deceit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.